hi everyone good early morning um it is like in the middle of the day where i am in uh dar es salaam uh i wanted to do this at this time so that people i know are getting ready to go to work they're uh starting their day um and uh so i just wanted to you know share the information so people could plan their day because i will be hosting another one of those uh of those uh, 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 seminars, webinars rather, uh, this evening, your time, 9.30 p.m. Uh, Eastern time. Um, that will be 5.30 a.m. or 4.30 a.m. my time, yay. <laughs> Early bird gets the worm. Uh, so I want to, um, I wanted to do this just to invite uh, you guys to this but I want to give a brief overview. So first of all, welcome to friends who have been here, uh, have been with me for the last two years, and welcome to friends who are new, who are lear just learning about me and what we're doing here in Tanzania. Um, so let me just cover a few things. So the topic today is why are the CMOS entrepreneurs going to be the next millionaires of America. And believe you me, there are many people who are on their way to doing that right now. However, um, there are some things that are going to become more and more important as this industry begins to grow and it will only continue to grow. It is not going anywhere. No one is trying to stop it. No one is trying to block it or no one is trying to do anything uh, you know, to hinder it because um, it is a, a very important recognized, uh, hi, Shiana, <laughs> thank you. It is a very, very well recognized, um, you know, uh, food product, uh, wellness product, and it is an extremely important product in manufacturing. And I'm going to go into some details of why this is important to you the African-American consumer. And I'm going to briefly tell you a little bit about uh, what we are going through here, what we were going through here in Tanzania. So um, and just to give you a brief overview, and I'm going to discuss this again in the webinar for those of you who can't make it to the webinar so you know exactly like what are they talking about? What is she talking about? So, um, you know, uh, CMOS that you guys call CMOS is a very, very important product. There are many species. A lot of people do not know the different species. They don't know the different kinds of nutrients and minerals that they get from different species. There's a lot of information and misinformation that is out there. Um, you know, there are a lot of cycles to the CMOS that people do not understand. And so, uh, uh, what I've done in these past nine months where I've been so quiet is I've done a lot of research and I found a lot of information and um, we've been building out our networks, Jackson and I, as to how we can make this into a more solid industry. Because when, as you know me, I'm, a, I'm you know, Pan-African all the way. And when I understood the assignment of why I'm here, what I'm doing, what we need to do to do, do things differently. Um, you know, I took that on very seriously. And so I put some of my immediate needs to the side in order to solve this bigger problem. So let me explain to you what this big problem is. There are two problems. One is we have the farmers here in Tanzania who are being exploited They're, uh, because they live in these remote villages. They're pristine, they're beautiful, and they're not, uh, they are unable to get good bargaining rights for their, their, their produce, right? Because they live in these remote villages. So uh, be, they're being exploited and the high quality seaweed it's going all over the world. It's not just going to America or to Europe. It is going to Chile. It's going uh, all over the world. And it is boosting this multi-billion dollar industry called carrageenan, right? Uh, because it's processed after it's pro they get it from here, they take it over there and they process it. So I thought to myself, ha, why don't I build a processing plant here? 
because they they're they're extracting the value and the quality out of the country. They're not bringing any kind of enhancement to the to to the locals. They're not bringing job opportunities. They're not being uh, skill, uh, giving skill improvement. They're not doing anything that is elevating Africans, just leaving them in the same position where they have always been, which is in third world. And a lot of these Europeans, they are very comfortable with Africans being in that position. Reason being is because Africa has all of the resources, all of it, okay? And this particular resource that I have found myself involved in to the gills, uh, this particular resource is extremely important. It is extremely valuable to them, okay? And so there are many different moving parts and moving pieces, and I had to nail down exactly what was the problem. The problem is uh, th those who control the seaweed industry, they would like to keep the farmers in the position which they're in. And for me, I ain't having that. I'm so sorry. I'm not having it. I come from a farming background. We, uh, mo a lot of Jamaicans have, uh, you know, strong uh, uh, agricultural familial ties. Mine is particularly tied to sugarcane. And knowing the history of what they did, the Europeans in the time of uh, col colonization, what they did was they took the resources away and processed it and then sold it back to us. And they did it, they did it all over. They've been doing it all over the world. And in my mind, the age of exploitation is over. It's 2022. Why? In the year 2022, is there this kind of exploitation in Africa where Africans now know that they are in the position of power? Or maybe they don't know. Maybe they should know that they have the resource. They have the resource. They have the natural resources. They have the oil. They have the salt. They have the gold, they have the diamonds, they got the seaweed. And what this industry has done is try to make them feel that they are not important. So what they do is they buy a little bit over here and a little bit over there, and then they continue to manipulate the market and keep the price of seaweed uh, you know, um, uh, artificially low. It does not rise with the cost of gas. It doesn't rise with the cost of living. It doesn't rise with the cost of anything. So, and the fact that these people are out there stuck in these beautiful, beautiful atolls and these remote uh, places, you know, it's it's ideal for them. So, I've been working and with engaging with these uh, stakeholders, um, you know, at multiple levels, saying, okay, how about this? Now, we're not an NGO. We're a registered company. We're here to make money. But me, Renee, in particular, I am not going to go out and make money on the backs of people who are already being exploited and already being in the position where they cannot bargain. Okay. And so from the very first meeting when I met with the farmers, I said, this is, they told me this was their price. I said, this is your price. This is your price because I do not want to be associated with anything that is going to bring uh, African people, especially uh, stress and distress. I don't want to be, I don't want any parts of it. And unless I can be an agent of change or I can find solutions to make this work, I don't, I don't want to do that. So I could easily uh, sit contently in this big beautiful villa by the beach and sell my uh my wild sea moss and say look what i got i got wild sea moss and it will do this and it will do that for you which it does uh but it's not enough for my conscience now i know now i am aware and I know that in my power, the things that I have been exposed to in my life, the places I've been, the businesses that I've been exposed to, the things that I've done, I know that I can make the difference. 
I just needed to put it all together. And as one person, it was very, very difficult, but I have a solution. And this is the solution. The solution is, it is you. It is you African-Americans on the other side who would like to connect with Africa, who do not know how to connect with Africa and would like to elevate yourselves uh, economically and find prosperity for your family. Now, what does some farmers out in the middle of Tanzania, in the middle of the ocean have to do with you? Everything, because the very same industry that these people want to protect, they're keeping you from the knowledge of knowing how to capitalize on that opportunity for yourself. They are using you, they're targeting you, they're taking your pictures, putting it on their product and uh, hiring probably one or two token people and then turn around and say, look, we're, we're, we, we like black people. We're very black people oriented. When you don't know that you are the answer and you're the solution, you are going to work every single day in these large corporations and you don't know how to get out. You don't know that the very things that you consume every single day that you can make it for yourself. What do I mean? This very same sea moss that we're producing over here in Africa with the farmers, this very same sea moss is in toothpaste. It's in ice cream. It's in fertilizer. It's in hair care product. It's in skin care product. It's in you name it, we've got it. And so I'm going to just give you a brief overview of what y'all need to be looking into before you come to this meeting. Number one, this CMOS, the, this, this that they're using, that the large major corporations are using, this CMOS is in the pet food industry. The pet food industry is valued at $99.9 .9 billion, okay? This CMOS, as I just said, is in the toothpaste industry. It is valued at 24.5 billion US dollars. The fertilizer industry is valued at 27.2 billion US dollars. The ice cream industry is 9.9 .9 billion US dollars, okay? The black the natural supplement industry is 151 billion US dollars. And this one single product, this one single product uh intersects all of these products and the basic ingredients are easily found to make any of these things. It's easily found in the United States. However, the one key ingredient that you don't have access to is way over here in Tanzania. Now, you're telling me that with the African-American con consumer valued at 1.4 trillion, your spend your consumption spend is valued at over 1.4 trillion US dollars per year. You are spending more than a small country. You probably spend more than France. You're spending more than, than Jamaica, a whole, the whole entire island of Jamaica. The African-American consumer is spending more. The African-American consumer also uh, spends more on particular things. The hair care industry, as I said before, valued at 86.3 billion US dollars. The African American consumer has an 87% capture of that hair care market. So you're so with CMOS, with CMOS and the African American consumer, you can start to make your own things to capitalize on the market. Okay? Pet food. No one is looking at pet food. Oh, thank you, P. Davis. Pet food. Ain't nobody looking at no pet food. Pet food is necessary. Some A lot of y'all got your pets living with you. You call them your babies. At, but what are you feeding your pet? Go and pick it up. Read the back of the ingredients on there. I'm sure you can find some carrots, some meal, some stuff. And the key ingredient that you don't even know about is in there. They're now feeding this sea moss to cows. Why? I don't know, but you can feed it to cows. You can feed it to goldfish. 
So we're, what I'm talking about is using ourselves as the answer to our own questions. A lot of people want to start their own businesses, but they don't know how, and they don't have the resources, and they don't have the space. So what we're offering, I hope you all got a pen, but I'm, I'm going to, uh, when you come to the meeting tonight, I'm going to go a little bit more, a little bit deeper. Uh, so what we're offering is we are drop shipping, we're white labeling, we're doing a variety of different things for each particular entrepreneur has, each of them have different needs. I want you to write down these terms that I just said. I want you to write down drop shipping so you understand what that is. I want you to write down white labeling so you understand what that is. Go do some Googling, go do some research, go find out some information. One other thing you need to write down is farm gate. Farm gate, F-A-R-M-G-A-T-E, farm gate prices. What we're offering is not bulk wholesale. We're offering as close as we can get to farm gate prices for up to two, for, uh, for a minimum of 2,000 pounds of CMOS. Now, what does that translate to? Take the last time I said to take your last receipt, the last receipt of whatever you paid for CMOS, get that receipt, find it, look it up, go to Amazon, wherever you bought it from, multiply 2000 by that price per pound. Don't look at the ounce. And if you get half an if you get half a pound, multiply it to an ounce. If you the last thing you bought was four ounces, multiply that by four so you get one full pound. And then multiply that by two thousand, and so you can have a better concept of what I'm talking about. So I'm not here to sell you snake oil. I'm not here to sell you anything that is like uh, vague or um, something that you cannot follow or something that is brand new or something that you do not know, what I'm introducing to you is an opportunity for you to uh, be masters of your own consumption. Your consumption is what is driving America. And so why can't you slough off a piece of that pet food industry and make it your own? Why can't you chop off a little tiny piece of that toothpaste industry and make it your own? Why can't you just make a little bit of that ice cream industry your own? And the hair care that you've captured 87% of, right? That you're spending 6.6 .6 billion US dollars on hair care product alone. This particular CMOS is number one. Its use is in hair care. So you need to be masters of your own consumption. So we can use your... Uh, your entrepreneurship, your consumption, your ideas, your insight, your input, your network, and create our own ecosystem. We have access to the raw supplies. You have access to the market. You understand exactly how people, uh, the things that are people are looking for. Only you know what you see right? One person might see hair care. Another person might see skin. Another person might see, uh, you know, lips. Another person might see something else. Look around and look what you can find because this industry is coming. It's not going, right? So there's a lot for you to see, a lot for you to learn, a lot for you to know, but you're not alone. We're not alone. We're all in this together. We have access to the uh, to the raw materials. We uh, we have all of our documentation, all of our certifications. We have all of our licenses. Um, during the webinars, I share them with you so that people can uh, people can uh, go and do their own research and find out who we are and what we do and look us up and find us our find us out right. So you can have a clear picture of what is what the opportunity is, right? And when I say drop shipping and white labeling, you can request to have uh, uh, your CMOS sent to you in smaller increments where you can make your own stuff. You can request to have us, you know, handle the entire process. 
we also have a piece of technology that we attach to this to make the make it smoother and easier for people to participate in. So if you have never, you know, owned a website and you don't want to be responsible for the logistics and all of this crazy stuff, we have an app that it builds out an ecosystem where people can ask you questions and you can provide answers. We have all of this coming together in one place so that people can have a network and a community by which they're going, they, they can uh, command their industry. So I want y'all to come out to the meeting, uh, send me an email on my, uh, on, uh, let's see, where y'all know to reach me at. I don't want to confuse you. Uh, let me see. So you all know me at this, this this email address. So keep going right here. So just email me your interest in coming uh, with us as we go to the farm, as we purchase in uh, in in bulk, as we get all of the uh, as we get all of the information uh, you know together, as we get all gather all of the resources together, right? And you know this uh, this group doing this as a group is far more valuable, is far more uh, economical for us rather than each individual. Because at this position, we can take control of the market, and all you'll see is the East Africa Seaweed Company. That is the truth. All you'll see is the East Africa Seaweed Company. Um, and our products, because we are in this position at this moment, right? We have access to the raw materials. We have access to the warehousing. We have access to the logistics. We have access to the resource. But as you know, this is not what I joined, I joined the party for, okay? So let's see how we can make this more diverse and more economically inclusive for us all. Right. And and I think this way because it's not just one company. If I have 10, 20 or even 30 people coming with me uh, through this process, that is that is 30 entrepreneurs and their families that is now benefiting, that is now growing their communities, that is doing things differently as opposed to just one person uh, consuming, you know, giving people the stuff that they can consume. I want you to be producers. Okay. I being a consumer is great, but you are a super, you're a Uber consumer. People, brands are coming to America just for you. You are a super consumer, right? So let's try to see how can we get that consumerism into a place where it, 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 it makes sense for a product or producer, right? Because we are 39% more likely to work with each other. Did you know that? That all this stuff that they say, oh, well, black people don't support black business. That is not true. We are more likely to support each other than anyone else. Go look it up, right? So all of the information that I have been researching and, you know, uh, going through for these months that I've been very quiet and I've been missing off of YouTube and uh, nobody don't see me nowhere because I'm at home doing the work, right? And if we can, if we can get this to work, because and I know we can, because we've done some amazing things before, when we get this to work, now we can say uh, we ha are making change on the continent. This is how we have improved uh, poverty. This is how we have addressed certain issues. We know the source of where our stuff is coming from. Half of y'all buying stuff, you don't even know where you got it from. You just got it in the mail and bought it and used it. And you know, the, and so the American government is, is trying to bring the legislation that people must register and, and the source show where you got it from. Right. So traceability is going to become more and more and more and more and more important. Right. A lot of producers will show you a picture. Oh, we got it from here. Right. 
They got 10% of their product from that place that you see in that picture. Some of their stuff is coming from somewhere else and you really don't want to know where that is. And then you're feeding it to your baby and then you're pregnant and you're taking it. Come on, come on, right? So I, I whatever it is that they're doing over there in uh, white people land that feel like they have to legislate this, let them go ahead. But I want you, you to also know that this isn't coming just from them. It's coming also from the World Health Organization, recognizing that a lot of crazy stuff is happening. So let's address that, right? We are one of the number one consumers of the herbal and natural remedies uh, in the natural remedies category. That's, that's this product. We're one of the number one consumers in uh, hair and skincare product. That's in this, that's in, uh, in the CMOS. So if we are in this position of, of hyper consumerism for these products that we have access to, let's use that for ourselves. Let's carve out little pieces of the industry for us, of these multi-billion dollar industries. Let's carve out little pieces of, and see what we can do for ourselves. Yes, I, I strongly and firmly believe that the next set of millionaires in America, black millionaires are going to be through this sea moss, Irish moss thing, because people now realize and understand health is wealth. Okay, and why let someone else come and have all the logistics that we have and have all the, uh, the, the access and buy themselves into places that we've worked ourselves into only so that they can come and target you? Why can't we be capitals of captains of our own industry? Why can't we, you have me over here, y'all over there, let's work together. Okay, that's what I got. The meeting is 9.30 p.m. Uh, this evening. I'm sorry I sounded like I was yelling, but I was excited and I got a little bit of uh, a fit and fight in me, right? But uh, sea moss, seaweed, compounded annual growth, 8.7, almost 9%. African-American consumer spending, $1.4 trillion with a 5% increase over the last 20 years. That means you're only going to go up. So if you're consuming, we should be consuming what we make, right? You and your little family and your network and your church, church folk, you make your own stuff and you sell to your network. You put it on Instagram in this day and age uh, with you know good labeling, good packaging, and you can say your stuff is traceable. You know where things are coming from. I'm not saying just the raw sea must, that's enough too, right? The gels are also important as well. Right. And now they're probably going to start like, oh, well, if they're if it's moved from its natural form, it should have this. It should have that and blah, 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 blah. It's OK. People can make, make gels in their home. Right. So, you know, the access to the raw material is the most important thing. And we have that. Let's use it. We're looking to send a container. We're looking to send it uh, in another two weeks. But we had some snafus. But uh, so I know a lot of people emailed me. Uh, thinking that they were not able to participate, please uh, email me, continue to communicate with me, and I'll give you all the information and follow-up, okay? If you have any questions, send me an email. I look forward to seeing all y'all 9.30 p.m. tonight, okay? I'm going to keep it short because I know a lot of people are going to work and uh, or they want to listen on their way to work. Um, so you're ready for the meeting this evening, 9.30 p.m., Write down the information, write down farm gate, farm gate prices, write down drop shipping, write down white labeling, um, and that's it. All right. Thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate your time.